Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna take a look at not one, but eight extensions from the developer Fredo6. So uh, not a long time ago, as of this recording, uh, Fredo6, or Fredo as many know, you may know him as, uh, put out a whole bunch of his extensions as new paid versions. These extensions are amazing input and editing tools that let you take the capabilities of SketchUp just up to a whole nother level. I want to do a quick overview of all eight of the extensions. This will not be comprehensive. This will not dive deep into what each one does, but hopefully give you a taste and maybe entice you to go check out a 30-day trial of one of these extensions or maybe even purchase it. Each one of these is well worth the money. So uh, let's hop in and take a look. All right, so to get any of these extensions, you do want to go to the Sketchucation plugin store. And if you search for Fredo6, the name of the author, you'll see all the extensions we're about to cover, plus a whole lot more. He's got a lot of extensions in here, but uh, we're going to focus on the eight that he recently put out paid versions of. Um, so if I look at this in here, I do have the toolbars for all eight tools here, and we're just going to run through them one at a time. So first one is Round Corner. Round Corner does in a second or two what it would take many minutes, many minutes plus to do with something like um, follow me. So what I can do is I can select geometry, click the round corner button, and each of these tools is going to bring up the Fredo uh, toolbar up here. So the information about what it's going to do. But what round corner is going to do is basically put this offset, which is six inch offset with a six segment uh, arc and just round all the corners off. Look at that, in one click, it did what would have taken me, we'll just say more than one click to do. All right, moving along. One of my favorite and most people's favorite extent or tools to use inside of SketchUp is push-pull. It's great, it lets you take 2D geometry, make it in 3 geometry, but it does only work on a single surface. So if I have something like this, if I look at hidden geometry, I got a whole bunch of surfaces here, a whole bunch of faces making up this curved surface. Uh, I can't use push-pull on this. Push-pull work on one face at a time. Joint push-pull from Fredo lets you take this geometry, pull it in a 3D space, and look at that. I took that little offset cup, cuppy kind of thing and made it a 3D by doing a quick joint push-pull. Super, super helpful. Uh, I use it a lot. Uh, this is the next one is a tool that lets you do a lot of things. Curve Aloft is the name of it, and it will do, it has multiple functions where I can uh, take one shape extruded along a path, but have it transform into another shape by the end, um, go from a circle to a square along an arc, that sort of thing. But one of the things I really like doing is using it to skin geometry. So if I look right here, you can see I have these three arcs in 3D space, and to go in and make this all connect in a logical, nice, beautiful mesh would not be easy. I, in fact, I don't know if I could do it, but to do it with curve loft is a matter of clicking this button and hitting the check mark. And there I go. Look at that. Just nice, beautiful, soft mesh filling that up. Super easy. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm going to do an in-service to this next one because there is so much that this tool does. So the next one we're looking at is Fredo Scale. Fredo Scale has tools that allow you to take selected geometry and stretch it out uh, just by a portion. So like just stretch out the middle or an end, uh, lets you bend things. One of my favorites is not actually on the toolbar right here. Each of these extensions will have a toolbar you can turn on, but there's sometimes tools that fall off of the toolbar. Each of these does get in installed into tools. There's a Fredo 6 collection here. And in here, each of the extensions gets its own submenu. So for Fredo scale, I can look for things like box twisting, which isn't on the main toolbar. This lets me take this geometry and spin it. Look at that, twist that. Look at that. And just a couple clicks. I got a twisted extruded rectangle rather than a regular extruded rectangle. So super quick, easy. That's just a taste of, of Fredo scale. Fredo scale has so many things. All right, moving on. Here I have a mesh. This is a um, terrain mesh right here. And there are tools in SketchUp to do things like drape uh, or stamp, but tools on surface lets you go into a shape like this and basically just work on it like it was just a regular old flat surface. Let me draw lines on top of it or do things like put a circle on here. And you can see that it aligns to the geometry in just a click. Super easy, super quick way to put stuff onto a mesh like that. Speaking of that mesh, here I have some topo lines. 
What better way to create an ordered mesh than Topo Shaper? Ding! Sorry, I got a little, that sounded a little, uh, you know, commercially, but it really is cool. So Topo Shaper will let you select geometry like this and just with a simple click, create a mesh like that from those lines. And this is the cool part. Look, if I look at hidden geometry, look at this nice ordered mesh. Every triangle is the same size. Everything is nice and even. So beautiful, quick, easy way to take topo lines and turn them into a mesh that you can use in a model. All right, moving along. This one is called Curvizard. If I click on the button, I get a sub menu, a little sub menu pops up that gives you the commands inside of Curvizard. So what this does, it makes it real easy to work with things like curves. So if I have this, this really janky low poly curve right here, it's just, it's kind of a mess, not, not really good. I can come in here and I can say smooth contours. And watch what, what happens. It's gonna break it into multiple segments and look that just in that click, nice smooth. So what if I have something like this where I got, this is, you know, right now a whole bunch, 48 disconnected edges. Well, again, Curvizard, in addition to having just a basic weld, can have this simplify contours where to let you change the angle at which segments meet. And in the end, I end up with one smooth curve of a fewer number of segments. All right, finally, we have VisuHole. What VisuHole lets me do is take a shape and project it through other geometry. So in this case, I have this weird, I don't know, E logo? I don't know what this is. This is the shape that I want to punch a hole through whatever's going on here. So I can grab it, I can use it, click here, let's put it at an angle, and look at that, in a simple click, it punches all the way through. And it can go through all the geometry I want. If I had this carrying through five or six walls, I could make that happen too. If I wanna just punch it onto one surface, that's fine. It doesn't even have to be a flat surface. It could be more like surface like this and actually cut through it. Awesome set of tools makes ge modeling advanced geometry, I'll say, quick, and easy and so, so, so worth your time to go check out. Again, I'm not trying to sell you what Fredo's got. I just wanna let you be aware that these tools are available and they are so worth it. Uh, there are tools in here that uh, people like Tyson and Eric, uh, guys who use SketchUp, teach SketchUp, use all the time to create the things that they create. Um, and that's just the SketchUp team, people out in the real world, you know, outside of these four walls, use it all the time also. Great tools, well worth checking out. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, above all else, please leave us a comment. Do you use one of these extensions? Which one's your favorite? Did I miss one? Is there a Fredo extension that he's not have in these, these new sale extensions that you think should be in there. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.